in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's kind of do something maybe that makes all sense. Remember, if we have, pss, 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 I guess some people or something. So just remember, guys, if I did like cosine of, I don't know, uh, let's do pi over 3. The cosine of pi over 3 is equal to 1 half, correct? Yeah. And if I did the cosine inverse of then 1 half, that's equal to pi over 3, right? So that's like that relationship of an angle. Now, again, that was inverse. You could also use this as arc cosine, you know, same, same idea, right? So what we have is, what that means is this is a value, right? This is like the value either on the like, unit circle or of a triangle. Like it doesn't even have to be on the unit circle. It is on the unit circle, at least in this point. But it really is because it's made up of a triangle. 1 half, kind of 3 over 2. So arc and inverse are like the same thing? Yes, they are, they are the same thing. All right? So now in, from this, though, we're taking, the arc, we're taking the arc in terms of value. We're looking for the angle that it applies. Now, so they give us x. So do we know what the value is? No, no we just know it's x, right? So the tangent, the value of the tangent, so put it this way, the tangent of some angle. So we need, we need to, to understand this relationship, we need to get something better. So let's just call this theta. We have no idea what the angle is. The tangent of theta is equal to x. That means the arc tangent of x Let's just call that theta. Would that, does that relationship look like that relationship? Same thing is we just have no idea what theta or x is. Correct? Yeah. All right. So hopefully from there, we kind of understand this relationship a little bit, at least with the arc and inverse. So let's draw a triangle then, because we don't have anything really on the unit circle to understand this. So let's say here's theta. So the tangent of theta, the tangent of theta equals x. Well, again, what does tangent represent? Yeah, it's the y over the x, right, when we're looking in the unit circle. But we don't even know if this has a point on the unit circle. So we could also think of tangent as opposite over adjacent. Isn't the tangent, wouldn't that be the same? Tangent of theta is x over 1, right, which is just x? Yes. And now do we have enough information to find the hypotenuse? So the hypotenuse squared is equal to x squared plus 1 squared. So therefore, the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of x squared plus 1. No. So the inverse tangent, um, so when you're looking at this, so what this creates is the arc tangent of x produces this triangle. So here's the theta of, this, of the arc tangent of x. That produces that angle theta. But the main thing, important thing is, like, can we figure out now what the secant of theta is? Like, again, so as we mentioned, this gives us this theta, right? So now the next question is, what is the secant of theta? Do we have now enough information in this triangle to figure out the secant of theta? Yes, secant of theta is hypotenuse over adjacent. So that's just going to equal x squared plus 1. So you use the relationship of the arc tangent to create the triangle, and then you take the sine, cosine, tangent, or in this case, secant of that triangle. And if you remember, we did problems. We didn't do, 